Hey what's up everyone and welcome to Daily Code Buffer. In this video we are going to learn about the iterator design pattern. So let's get started. Now iterator design pattern is a part of a behavioral design pattern which will allow us to traverse to the list of objects. So whenever there is a requirement where we have the collection of objects and we have to traverse through all of those objects at that time we will be using the iterator design pattern so let's understand more in detail about the iterator design pattern so generally in java whenever we have to store any data what we do is we try to use any of the data structures right so either we might be using arrays list trees graphs and there are a lot of other different data structures available and by using all those different data structures what we do is after storing all the data we try to traverse through all those data structures and traversing through each and every data structure is a different task because some of the simpler data structures like arrays and lists for them the traversing is easy right because there is a sequential traversing that needs to be happened and that we can achieve using the iterator as well and for the complex data structures such as tree in tree we have to go ahead with the different types of iteration we might be doing the depth first search we might be doing the breadth first search or some other random traversal for that there has to be different implementation of the iterator right what iterator will do here is iterator will allow us to traverse through the list of objects that we have collections of objects that we have okay so iterator's job is to allow a client to traverse through the entire data structure based on the data that we have stored in the different data structures okay either it may be array list tree whatever it is okay or with the iterator it should allow us to go through the data structures and fetch the data multiple different iterators also should be allowed to traverse through the data so that's the general idea behind the iterator design pattern okay now as we talked about like different data structures might have different types of iteration that needs to be done there has to be different implementation of the iterator as well right so what generally we'll be doing is there has to be an interface of the iterator okay generally it has to be have the interface and this interface should have the different implementation right different implementations now this different implementation will be used in the different types of data structures okay suppose for list there might be different implementation for array list there might be different for trees there might be different and so on okay so for all these different types of data structure the implementation may vary but all of them would be implementing this iterator interface okay so this iterator interface will be implemented by all of these different interface so there is no compatibility issue between all these different classes of the collection now the best example to see the iterator design pattern is within the collection framework itself right so in the collection framework for all these different classes we can see there is an iterator available and with the help of that iterator we can traverse through the different objects in the collections so let's see the same example here let me go through the intellij idea here okay and here you can see that we have open the error list okay error list is extending abstract error list and it is part of the collection so if you see this collection interface right this collection interface is extending iterable so that means this can be iterated okay and that's why it has the object of the iterator okay so here you can see that this iterator is an interface okay and this iterator will allow us to get the next object of the collection available so here you can see that it has the method that is has next and next which will check if there is an object available and if so we should get the particular object as well so that's the general idea behind the iterator it should give us the different objects or the next objects available until that particular collection is empty okay till that we should get the objects so that's generally the iterator should work now this is the general interface you can see this is the interface now this interface should have different implementation based on the different classes of the collection in general for the different concrete classes okay so here within the java you can see that there are 351 implementation for this iterator so if i just scroll through you can see there are a lot of different implementation for the different collection here you can see that for list there is one list adapter list buffer okay if i scroll down you can see there are a lot of different types of implementation available let's take the simple one array list so there is an implementation for the array list as well for this iterator okay so here you can see that it is a simple list iterator which is extending iterator okay and it is just you can see that getting the current index to get the current data so there might be different implementation you can see there is a implementation for the list iterator as well which is extending the iterator so there are different types of implementation available for the iterator at the end the main purpose is to have a particular interface and the implementation concrete classes for that 
इंटरफेस विच विल अलाउ अस टू ट्रावर्स टू द डिफरेंट ऑब्जेक्ट्स बेस्ड ऑन द कलेक्शन इट माइट बी लिस्ट ऑफ डॉग्स इट माइट बी लिस्ट ऑफ एनीथिंग ओके इट माइट बी कस्टम डेटा स्ट्रक्चर एज वेल दैट यू हैव क्रिएटेड बट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू ट्रावर्स टू एनीथिंग आई टेटेड डिजाइन पैटर्न इज समथिंग दैट यू हैव टू इम्प्लीमेंट सो दैट्स द जनरल आइडिया बिहाइंड द आई टेटेड डिजाइन पैटर्न एंड यू हैव सीन एंड यूज दिस आई टेटेड डिजाइन पैटर्न अ लॉट इन जावा एज वेल सो आई होप यू गेट द जिस अराउंड दी आई टेटेड डिजाइन पैटर्न and if you like this video give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos and you can also click on the join button to support me as well i will see you in the next video till then happy coding bye bye